Today we'll be learning how to identify and how to write equivalent fractions. Let's pretend we saw these two birthday cakes and wanted to know which cake is there more of. Well, if we look at the cakes and ignore all of the slices, you can see we actually have the same amount in each cake. Now that might seem surprising, because if you write the fraction of this cake that we have, you can see it's been cut into eight total pieces, and we have one, two, three, four pieces left over. So we have four eighths of this cake. But if we look at this cake, we can see it's been cut into a total of four pieces, and that we have one, two pieces left. So we have two fourths of this cake. So how is it that four eighths is the same as two fourths? Well, these represent what we call equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are ones that are written differently, but are actually equal. Four-eighths is written differently than two-fourths, but both fractions are equal because they represent the same amount of cake. We could write as a number sentence that four-eighths is equal to two-fourths. Now, an easy way to remember this is if you look at the word equivalent, you can see the word equal, it's inside of it. Equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal. So now that you understand what equivalent fractions are, let's practice identifying some of them together. Let's identify which of these models are equal, and then write out the equivalent fractions. Well first, let's find which models are equal. Look for those that have the same amount shaded. Which models are equal? If you were to remove all of the lines, you can see this model and this model have the same amount shaded. That means these two models are equal. All right, next, let's label each of these fractions. What fraction is this? One piece is shaded out of a total of two, so this is one half. What about this model? What fraction is this? Well, four pieces are shaded out of a total of eight, so this is four eighths. We can say that these are equivalent fractions, and we can write that one half is equal to four eighths. Here's another problem for us to practice with. Let's get started by identifying which of these models are equal to each other. Which of them are equal? Well, if you ignore all of the lines, you can see this shape and this shape have the same amount shaded. This last one doesn't. Now we can write the equivalent fractions. Which of these is correct? Well, this model has one shaded piece out of a total of three, so this is one-third. And this model has two shaded pieces out of a total of six, so this is two-sixths. We write one-third is equal to two-sixths. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Identify which models are equal, then write the equivalent fractions. When you look at these models and ignore the lines, you can see this model and this model have the same amount shaded. This one doesn't. This first model is three-fourths. Then this model you have to count carefully, but it's nine-twelfths. Therefore, you could write that three-fourths is equal to nine-twelfths. Now here's one last problem for you to practice with. Identify which of these models are equal and write the equivalent fractions. When you look at the models and ignore the lines, you can see this one and this one have the same amount shaded. This model is two-thirds, and this one is four-sixths. Therefore, you can write that two-thirds is equal to four-sixths. Great work! Now you know how to identify and write equivalent fractions. That's all for now, and stay tuned for next time.